shoot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you'll you'll never to... get rid of me. Ah, don't worry. You'll have to get to say a few right. nice words more. Oh, no. You. Oh, oh, no. Stop. You won't get away. John with... Mitchell that you were speaking Hello, John. How are you? How are you? You're oh. Mary Murphy's. I am, yeah. First cup. She's waiting with the night home. I know, but sure, he you won't won't stay. He's not here for much enough. I know. Is it a Murphy order? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. He took that to grow. You won't get away so soft now like you did like it in in at all. Oh, God, you nearly murdered me. Yeah, mate. Yeah? Talk about it. You ends. Is that your wife? That's right. Oh, yeah. So where do we... The little road beside the cable in there's one up there. Yeah, we'll find it. I'll then be all done up there. We'll I'm a Murphy too. Yeah, yeah. He's a Murphy as well. Whatever it's silly, I don't no, want to shoot. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. I hear so much about you, you know, on the paper. Oh, my God. And on the TV and all that. It's nice to see you. I don't believe all of it. <laughs> Well, sure, at least, done it? Well, it's nice to meet you. That's my pleasure. Are you with Archie here in, in Goa? No, no, we'd make a private video, Richard Murphy, Rapp and Ryan, myself. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, Mr. Archie. No, we're not from Archie at all. Okay. I didn't know what that goes at all. Somebody said to me that you're, you're with Archie. No, 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 we are not with him at all. Oh, you make, a, you make private videos? Yes, we do the very yeah. more historic things. Oh. We, we were in Woodford already. Oh, you know? heard it today. Oh, yes, yes, oh yes. my God, you'll be busy there. Sean McBride and talking into this with you. Very good, yes. Oh, we'll have a few. We'll have to get you. Hey, did we on there? We are. Yeah. Yes, yes. Just say a few words for me, as we're at it. Well, uh, you're Mr. Mitchell. Yes, indeed. Uh, Minister for communications. Well, communications, yes. yeah. Well, do you do a lot of writing? You do, I suppose. Well, <laughs> I, do, I do a lot of reading. I'm not sure of writing. I'm yeah. very cryptic uh, mm -hmm. orders on. Yeah. on Memoranda that come up to me all the time. Yeah. You get somebody else to do the writing, like? Uh, I get all the civil servants to do the writing, yes. Well, it's just <laughs> hard to get them to do something. <laughs> really exactly. Well, 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 I come uh, to Galway, I do no writing. My wife is from Mount Bellew, so I come Mount down Bellew. here to, to relax and do a bit of farm. Yes, she is no, the lady. Well, what is her name from Mount Bellew? Kenny. We're just Kenny. outside Mount Bellew, yeah. Oh, I know Mount Bellew well. Yeah. Uh, tell me here, uh, well, um, you're here unveiling this today? Yes. Yeah, well, this is to commemorate what? It's commemorate the men of the old IRA from this part of the country who served back in the troubled times to deliver this part of the country its freedom. Yes. And it's to commemorate those men and uh, to show that they're not forgotten. I see, yeah. Uh, oh, it's just the 6th Battalion, I believe, that's it. 6th Battalion here. 6th Battalion, yes. Sorry. In this part of the country, yeah. Yes. Well, sure, it's lovely to have something like that to commemorate them. Uh, well, I think it's very important that we should remember those who did things for us in the past and it's it's so easy to forget but i think it is important that we do remember and that we are always uh, pre prepared to say thanks the past. we're coming on a bit well, well no i'm sure there'll be quite a lot to be talking you've a lot to do so i'm delighted to meet you mr mitchell my pleasure, and, uh, thank you. thanks a lot for speaking to us my pleasure right. go to Margaret. i now call on commandant hugh mcguire and then mcdonald's from cabin to unveil this memorial <laughs> I'll be having a word with you this morning. This. ideals have been maintained and that the task of freeing and uniting the whole country is still a task to be achieved. And in that sense that you have contributed all to the erection of this monument. I would like to thank you for it, but also I would like you to resolve that we must maintain the unity, the unity to achieve the complete freedom of the whole island now. This has yet to be done, and you must bear this as the ideal uh, before you. Uh, as I told you before, and, uh, every human being has an ideal and a soul, but a country that loses its ideal ideal of nationality 
this ideal of standards uh, is a little bit like the human being that has lost his soul. We have to rebuild this ideal, and it is by erecting monuments of this kind that we can rebuild the ideal and encourage the rising realization to rebuild and work for the ideal for which these men fought and died. So the fool had left the Sarfinian dead. And while Arnold hold these graves on free, to so let them be at peace. So uh, great honor in uh, thanking you again for having taken this initiative and appeal to you to rally around to the ideals of the man you're honoring today. Thank you very much. Jim Mitchell, Minister for Communications, representing the government. <laughs> I'm greatly honoured to have the opportunity today to represent the government at this uh, ceremony in Menla. I noticed. Uh, Firstly, since I came here a couple of hours ago, I've met more Mitchells than I've met anywhere else in the country. <laughs> I look at this, uh, this tremendous memorial, and I see among those in art today is the name, the name of James Mitchell. I only hope that in 60 years' time or 70 years' time that people will remember me as we remember James Mitchell and all his colleagues here tonight. Most countries have clear and definite ways of saying thank you to those who serve it well. In this country, we don't have very many tangible ways of saying thank you. One of our previous and very distinguished speakers here tonight, Mr. Sean McBride, has been rightly honored uh, by the Nobel Institute and with the Denon Peace Prize. But we don't have any honors of that sort to award people who have served this country well. And therefore it behoves us to remember all the more to say thank you. And in a sense, we're here today, almost uh, 70 years after the foundation of the Mendel Battalion of the old IRA, to say thank you to men who were prepared to fight for the freedom of this country. Today, this country needs patriotism uh, as much or more so than it did then.